F1 car. Hey everyone, today we add the differential to the Formula F1 RC open, but you know what I mean. Cue the intro. As I start to get the prints out, as you can see here, we're going to make this modification to see if this will improve the performance of the car. Um, I'm going to start with the nylon PLA. Oh, nylon PLA. Ugh. We're going to start off with nylon. And uh, kind of ended up being a goopy mess, as you can see here. I am spending quite a bit of time actually doing some cleaning on it. All right, as we move along, hopefully this will work. Well, that didn't work. Let's go back to what I used before for the other gears, uh, the Protopasta HTPLA. And we'll see how this end results goes. Uh, there's a couple other adjustments that I think I need to make before I even bother testing it. One of my thoughts are is we're going to change out the front to have some form of suspension. Not really to help support the car itself, but more to help with the performance and steering and things of that nature. We'll see how that results goes. to the next half of this I was going to set up a front suspension and 
uh, that I found online, similar to what this definitional thing is. Oh, speaking of that, I will have a link to this, to the person who created this um, on Thingiverse, so you guys can download it for yourself. Again, I didn't create any of this, this was somebody else's design. Um, all the information will be down below in the description, so you're more than welcome to follow suit, and I recommend to do so. It looks like a pretty decent design. All right, with that, what you've seen me doing is tearing apart and trying to rebuild the hot end. Unfortunately, I made a mistake later on. I managed to get everything apart, and I'm reassembling it now. I removed the clog that was in the tube itself. It was before the hut end, so it literally had to be. I had to take the whole thing apart. I really like the way this was designed. I know it was based off of an E3D hut end, so good on you. It's a really nice design. Um, yeah, all right. With that said. Unfortunately, I broke the thermometer, sort of, kind of. So, yeah. I can't find one exactly the same as to what they have here. I ironically have something close I'm going to try to fix it with. Meanwhile, while I'm screwing around with seeing if I can get it to work, I have already ordered a new hot end. And waiting, waiting on that to come in. So... I may plot to have to take a little bit of a pause on the 3D printing videos. And we'll do something different in the meantime. This channel wasn't really meant for 3D printing. It just kind of ended up that way. So there's other things I have in mind that we'll be approaching. So um, subscribe for that stuff. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye, guys.